welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a video today on a traveling binder for your kids from the Dollar Tree. Everything I bought was from the Dollar Tree or things that I printed on the computer. We're about to go on a vacation and the drive is eight hours long. And I have a six-year-old and I have twin four-year-olds. So I definitely needed some entertainment. We're not gonna have movies and tablets the entire ride. I mean, they might play on the tablets a little bit, but I don't want them to just be on tablets. You know that when you are traveling with children, it is really difficult because they are gonna ask you over and over again, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? And they're gonna be completely bored out of their minds. So that's why I created this travel binder so that maybe we can play some games and they can just be a little bit more entertained. It'll keep them busy for a while. I'm gonna first show you my Dollar Tree haul for everything that I bought for the binders and then I'll show you what the binder looks like. So let's go see what I did. There are so many cute stickers that kids would just love to play with. It'll keep them entertained for quite a while. Dollar Tree has so many to pick from. And there's so many cute binders now because they're bringing out school stuff and notebooks to choose from as well. And then there are lots of pens and pencils and just certain things to keep them busy. So of course I had to get binders and I found these ones here. to be able to put some paper in the binder so I bought these I thought that I would take the coil off of the notebook and just put it in the binder and of course I found these Pokemon um, fun packs and they all love Pokemon so I went ahead and got three of those it comes with stickers a little coloring book and some crayons so I got each of my boys some colorful pens, because pens seem to work the best. And I got each of them some dry erase markers. I also got them these little pouches. So cute, oh my goodness, are these not adorable? To put their writing utensils. I also bought this pack of gum. It comes with four of them, so I get one, and each of the boys get them, and I'm just gonna put them in in this little thing. They had these little sticker books. I mean, you can't beat this. One dollar, Spider-Man, Minions, and Avengers. That is perfect. One dollar, and you get, this one has over 270 stickers. I mean, yes, they're small, but this will definitely keep my boys, these will definitely keep my boys occupied for a while. I also got this since we seem to have a pet thing going on. I only got one, so I'm gonna have to cut them up and like even them out so that the boys can have the same amount and they can just play with them when they want to. I know these headphones are crap and I don't even know if they'll stay in my boys ears but they're gonna need headphones for the tablet so I went ahead and bought these hopefully they work. My boys love trolls so I got this this comes with four sheets so I'll give each of them a sheet and then I'll have an extra one for in case one gets lost heaven forbid. And these stickers smell really good. 100 stickers and they have a scent. So I thought these would be super fun. And that is it. So each of my boys picked out one of these bags from the Dollar Tree. And they actually picked this up from a different haul. So not the one recently, but we picked these up just a few days ago, to be honest. And I didn't record it. But these are the bags. This is one of the bags. My one of my sons loves watermelon and he loves popsicles, so he was extremely excited when he saw this one. My other boys picked some troll bags. In the bag is their binder. So this is one of the binders. 
and then they have their little pouch with things in it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what's inside. This bag won't only have just their binders and stuff in here. They'll also be able to put a couple toys. We're going to let them take two to three toys a piece. So it's not completely overbearing with toys, but they have some toys to take. And their tablets will be in this bag too. So this is like their traveling bag. So in their pouches, I just have their pens and their markers and their crayons and then that pack of gum that I gave them. So I let the boys pretty much put it together so they decided where they wanted their things. This one is Caden, so we're going to go ahead and go through his. I did not get these dividers the last time I went to the Dollar Tree, but they do still have them. I already had some of them on hand. These things are super awesome because you can just get a dry erase marker and just write on it. And it makes it simple because, you know, it, it's always fun to be able to erase what you drew and keep doing it. They actually ended up using these a lot more than they did regular paper. Caden did not want me to take the coil off of his notebook at first, but he ended up changing his mind, so I took it off a little bit after this video. It definitely did not turn as well with coil on, but it did much better afterwards. And this pouch, these little pouch things I got from the Dollar Tree as well. They're not the most sturdiest things. They're quite flimsy, but they worked. So if you wanted to get more expensive ones, you can, but the Dollar Tree does have them. Basically, we just put their stickers and other things like their Pokemon set inside of those made it easy to just find them and get them and play with them. So next I added these scavenger hunt games for the kids. So basically they look for these things while we're in the car. It just kind of makes it a little bit more fun and we can still continue to interact with each other. I put it in the clear cover holder things. Why can't I remember what in the world they're called? But I put it in those so that we can use the dry erasers, dry erase markers, so that we can easily mark it and erase it whenever we want to. So I can just continue using this binder as I go. First one was geared more towards preschoolers. This one is just vehicles. And the next one is license plates, which is a little bit more advanced. And we weren't going too many states away, so we didn't really play with that one much. But it will be fun for later on if we travel across the country again, which we have done a few times already. So that one will be good for later on, maybe. And the last one is for signs. So street signs, which is super fun. The boys did like looking for the different types of signs and the automobile ones. Those two were the hit. They loved those ones. I also had a few extra of those clear covers because I wanted to add a few things for each of my kids, like preschool type stuff or reading type stuff. This one is my first grader, so I just have words in there for him to read while we were driving so that he can, you know, use his brain a little bit as well. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.